In this demo, we'll go over the bait stamping capabilities of SciGen Site Capture. So, if you go into a lot of law firms today, uh, they're still using either uh, uh, incrementing bait stamp, which is actually a stamp that stamps ink on the pages, or they utilize stickers, or some are even still writing numbers um, for page uh, numbering on, on documents that they bring in for a case. So uh, within Site Capture, we've got a full bait stamping module. And um, I'll go ahead and walk you through the, the capabilities here within the product. And I'm going to show you an interactive demo. So you can bring in uh, a document into Site Capture, and you can scan it or import it. We'll go ahead and bring in um, a sample document. And we'll move into our, our quality assurance module. And within the QA module, it's going to let us do some doc prep. So I can actually um, expand my tree. Uh, I've got full page level editing capability. So if I wanted to do an insert or replace a crop, um, I can go ahead and do that. I can scan in new pages and, and really assemble my document the way I want it um, before I do the bait stamping process. Now, within the quality assurance module, you have what we call QA auto processing and you can either do this as an interactive step which I'll show you here or you can set up fully automated bait stamping so if you wanted on your scanning copier to hit a button have it scan into a directory and have site capture pick it up auto stamp it print it email it or just output a searchable PDF to a directory you could do that really easily now a uh, very capable bait stamping engine you can actually build multiple stamps. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and uh, I'll build one called uh, bottom right. We'll go ahead and I can adjust the uh, the font and the color. I can choose my background. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a font size of 22. And then we're going to do, um, we'll do three inches from the right. And then we'll do a um, little smaller um, from the bottom. We'll go ahead and do some, some pixels from the bottom. And I can really fine tune the way that I adjust this uh, location of the stamp. Now once I build where I want it, my template, then I can come in and build the different segments of the stamp. So in this case, let's go ahead and do um, a case name segment. And we'll go ahead and make this a, a constant. And we'll say that this is for uh, Kramer versus Kramer. We'll put an underscore in there at the end. So this is what will prefix the, the page number. And then I can add one and we'll call it uh, page number. And we'll go ahead and use an auto number field. Now I could tie it to an index field or um, make another uh, segment that's a constant if I wanted a suffix. But in this case, we'll do case number underscore and then, uh, or I'm sorry, case name underscore and then the page name. So we'll go ahead and set it up, and I can I can go ahead and tune it. So if I wanted, uh, you know, four leading zeros, I could do that. And you can see here in the preview, it's going to show me what it's going to look like. So it makes it really nice and easy to, to build this out and uh, make it look exactly the way you'd like. And then something that we do that um, uh, I haven't found another application that does this, we actually sh give you the option to shrink the image so that you don't stamp over text. So we'll go ahead and shrink the image um, 10% and we'll shrink it up to the top of the page, save it, and then I'll go ahead and click um, process. And you'll see it's going to go through my pages and then you can see uh, down here at the bottom of the page gives me a nice um, pretty stamp. Okay, and obviously it uh, increments uh, as we go through pages. Okay. Now I can stamp in the bottom. I also have the ability if I come in um, to my bait stamp template. Let's go ahead and add another one and uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, a right side stamp. And let's go ahead and just put something here. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. We'll rotate it. We will put it um, 50 pixels from the right edge of the paper and then we'll do it about halfway down the page so we'll go um, five let's do um, five inches from the top okay and I'm just gonna put a constant here because um, most of the time the the side is uh, a constant so I'll go ahead and put um, uh, law firm 
So I can come in here and go uh, Johnson and Johnson. And I can shrink it if I want, but in this case I'm not going to do that. Click process, go through, and it gives me a nice um, side bait stamp there. Okay, and I, I can put the bait stamp um, anywhere on the page that I like. Uh, I can do multiple stamps in one template. It's just a really, really nice way to, to stamp these documents and, and, uh, and do it digitally. If you make a mistake, you can reload the originals, rerun um, the bait stamping process, and then output them as necessary. Now, um, for case management systems like Summation or others where you've actually got fields for the page number, we also have the ability to uh, link the field, uh, the, the bait stamp to a field and migrate it into the back end uh, case management system. So some real flexibility there. That's the end of this quick overview of bait stamping. If you have any questions, sales at SciGen.com or 949-916-770, extension 230. Thanks.